He is Groot. Sure, he is. But who is Groot really? In Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, fans get to know the talking tree a lot better, and director James Gunn confirmed as much. If you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, you probably have some questions. How is the new lineup of Guardians going to work together? Did the High Evolutionary survive? Why was Adam Warlock so wasted in the film? These are all valid, even burning questions. But here's another one for you. It may not be as burning, but is just as valid. Given a remarkable amount of character development on his behalf, what exactly is Groot? It's easy to look past the peculiarity that is Groot, when the other Guardians include a bug lady, a jacked killing machine, and a talking raccoon. But even in the sprawling Marvel Cinematic Universe, there are few creatures as singular as Groot. He's an anthropomorphic humanoid tree made of ultra-hardy dendronic wood. He ranges between baby-sized and 10 feet tall, and he can basically basically only say one thing. I am Groot! Though the MCU Groot is worlds away from his Marvel comic book origins, one thing remains the same. His aura of mystery inspires feverish fan theorizing. By the beginning of Volume 3, every Guardian except Gamora, who is a version of herself from the past, can understand what he really means when he utters his iconic catchphrase. Once she spent enough time with him, she starts understanding him too. By the end of the film, one of the biggest mysteries of Groot is finally unveiled. We, the audience, having ventured far and wide throughout the galaxy with him, can now understand what he's saying as well. At the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the Guardians are all talking, and Groot utters the line, I love you guys and we actually hear it in English. It slips by relatively quickly. You'd be forgiven if you didn't even catch it. But the moment is the perfect send-off to one of the most beloved teams in the MCU, indicating that we too played our part in defending the galaxy from evil. We're accepted by the Guardians as one of their own. Director James Gunn confirmed this interpretation when it was posed to him on Twitter, saying, Spoiler alert, yes, that's exactly what it means. This final lifting of the veil between the audience and the camaraderie of the Guardians comes at the end of a long journey for his manner of speaking. If we had understood Groot's endangered language in the first Guardians film, it wouldn't have made nearly the impact it makes when it comes at the end of Volume 3. Because James Gunn is one of the better filmmakers within the pan-Marvel DC universe, one who is particularly adept at character development, this minor third-act twist hits the audience as an experience of complete catharsis. Groot's comic debut came in 1960 in Tales to Astonish number 13, predating most other Marvel Comics heroes and villains. Groot was a villain dubbed the Monster from Planet X, who'd come to Earth to abduct humans for all manner of sinister experiments. Crucially, in this incarnation, he spoke perfect English. When he finally appeared as a Guardian in Gunn's first film in the trilogy, he more closely resembled his brief appearance in the 2008 crossover comic Annihilation Conquest. That's where we first saw Gamora, Drax, Star-Lord, Mantis, Rocket, and Groot united on the side of good. It's also where Groot was given both his friendship with Rocket and his amusing speech limitations. By the end of the first film, Groot's mind and heart have clearly expanded, as he declares before sacrificing himself, we are Groot. Groot's crucial role in the larger MCU was clear by Avengers Infinity War. Several Guardians had come to be able to understand the language of his Flora Colossus people, and even Captain America politely responds, I am Steve Rogers. It already felt like we knew the brawny old oak as well as we know Star-Lord or Rocket, but Gunn decided to gift viewers with the power of interpretation in Volume 3. Groot's been blown up, replanted, cycled through a baby phase, and it appears his evolution is far from over. Wherever the new Guardians go next, we hope Groot remains not just the team's muscle, but its heart.